Okay, YouTube, uh, another quick reveal. Uh, I'm in Cincinnati, Ohio the last couple of days uh, visiting some family. I uh, got some time away today to go to a local coin shop, uh, LCS, a lot of people call it. But a uh, local coin shop, I'll give you a little plug or a little shout out for it. It's Phil Garber is the owner at Franklin Street Coin Company. Great guy, uh, rare coins, gold, silver, currency. He had a really nice selection of everything that you could possibly think of. So if you're in the Cincinnati area, he's more on the northern side there on Reading Road. But uh, great guy. So I'll get straight into a couple of things we picked up there from Phil. Uh, first thing that caught my eye and he made me a pretty good deal on was a nice 1896 uh, Morgan Silver Dollar. Um, nice coin. Uh, pretty happy with it. I'm guessing, you know, an MS-63, possibly an MS-64. Not banged up at all. Uh, coin's got a lot of nice cartwheel luster to it. Uh, I think it's a good 63 candidate. He thought so too. Possibly, because it's not banged up a lot, a potential 64. So that's the first one off the bat. And next, this was a uh, second generation PCGS, and I can't hardly see it here, but it's got a lot of nice toning. A 1954 Washington Quarter. Uh, this is an old PCGS holder. I believe he said it was a second generation. So it gives you an idea of the PCGS, some of the old holders there. This is even before the Rattler. Uh, so nice condition. Uh, proof 65. So I was tickled to death to get my hands on this. Anytime you can, you know, we always say buy the coin, and I was very happy with the coin. Video doesn't do it justice, but it's got some very nice toning and uh, pretty nice 1954 proof. Uh, next, if many of you know, I haven't gotten into showing my uh, collection yet, but I've got a lot of uh, nice Seated Liberty dimes. This was a, a real good original surface 1885. Seated dime, probably a VF30, maybe a VF35. Uh, it's a coin that I liked and didn't have the date. Uh, Philly, Philly, Philadelphia. But a uh, nice coin. Nice addition. Maybe something potentially to send off later on. I uh, also got a 1984. This one might be a little better condition there. Original surface. Uh, from what we could tell, him looking at it, me looking at it pretty closely, doesn't hasn't been cleaned. Good original surface coin that we were able to pick up, and uh, uh, still, you know, anytime you're looking at a coin well over a hundred years old, uh, pretty good condition like this that's gotten through without somebody scrubbing the heck out of it or cleaning it up a lot. You're usually pretty happy. So both of those are probably maybe a. VF30, a, a VF35, and for giggles and kicks, not to show my age, but I did get me a Mint's uh, State um, <clears throat> coin set in 1965. That, this is the years they did. I think it was 65, 66, 67. They did not do proof sets. So this is just a Mint set of a 1965. Um, got the penny, the nickel, the dime. Washington Quarter and a uh, Kennedy Half and uh, wanted to get the mint special mint set uh, for my birthday and I had not seen any of my local coin shops and he had four or five so let me take the choice there for out but eight bucks you know I can't beat that so anyways uh, listen uh, we're gonna have a giveaway tomorrow night uh, like and subscribe um, to the channel there um, we're going to have a nice giveaway about 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Try and go live. Give you another look at this Morgan. Got some nice toning here on the uh, left of Burst. Starting to happen there. Uh, pretty nice sweet coin. And of course we'll just leave with the old Proof 65 Washington Quarter. But uh, again, like and subscribe. Tell your friends, uh, family members, any YouTube subscribers. Uh, join up here on ECP. Make sure you set your alert so you see. Uh, here's, again, Franklin Street Coins. 
company. Family's coming in the door here, so I'll end it for now and uh, say bye for now.